What is up guys and welcome right back into the Rams house. Thank you so much for stopping back in. It really means the world to me that you took the time out of your day to stop into this channel and just see what I have to say about the Rams. If you do like Rams content, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button because that's pretty much all I do on this channel. Just Rams content because I'm a diehard Rams fan and I'm sure if you're on here, you are too. So please take the time to click that subscribe button and let's just get right into the video. So today I'm going to be talking about Cam Akers and if this is his breakout year because this is a question that is very heavily requested on my channel. I've seen this all over the place during live streams and during just in the comment section so I just kind of want to address this and why I think he could have a breakout year and just some of the things he's good at and what contributes into that. So I think first you have to look at you when you acquire a guy like Matthew Stafford, I was talking about this in my live stream just a bit earlier today, but when you acquire a guy like Matthew Stafford, you not you would think that the run sets up the pass, which it does, but also it's the other way around. If a team is worried about the pass game, they can play the pass well. And they will they'll do more zones, they'll do more cover two, they'll do a lot more things with their defense that tries to prevent the pass because they know that threat is there. And that is what Stafford brings. With Jared Goff, you may you may disagree with me on this, but last year and the year prior to this, um, last season, Goff was not looking like a big threat to any defense really because yes, he could make some throws, he could, I'll give him that, but a lot of the plays ended up being drawn up where they were simpler, they were dump offs, they were out routes, they were screens, they were drags, like quick slants, short slants, that was most of his game. And a lot of the times, Let's just be honest, he did not hit those. And he was kind of turning into a turnover machine with that, a little indecisive, and the playbook be became something of a joke. Like, in my opinion, it was becoming a little too predictable, a little too pass heavy, or a little too, not run heavy, but it, you get the idea. It was just kind of mediocre. So when you have a guy like Jared Goff and the playbook being condensed because, I don't know, it just seemed like after he lost Todd Gurley in that great offensive line, he kind of dropped off and he needed a little bit of help. So McVay did that, but in doing that, our playbook got simpler and people were not afraid of our pass game. I think we can all admit to that. And it's not because of our receivers. Our receivers are great. And we are getting one of the best receiving cores here. But it's, it's just the fact of what Jared Goff did and he could not, I guess, what he couldn't do. So that that's a key factor that plays into it first off is if you have a dangerous passing game, that's going to help the rushing game. And I think that's a perfect example for what's going to happen this year. Now, with the acquisition of Matthew Stafford, it's looking like the Rams are going to want to keep him around for a while. Um, at least that's what they're alluding to in the press conferences. So we could have many successful years with Akers. And honestly, Akers brings a lot to this team. When they, when they drafted him, I was surprised that they drafted him because they just had drafted Daryl Henderson the year prior. But I was stoked. I knew who this guy was. I'd already seen him play, and I was excited for the player we were getting. Because, yeah, he doesn't have the Todd Gurley speed, but and he doesn't always have the burst, but he, he has great ball carrier vision, and he makes people miss left and right. And he can go, like, 60 yards down the field and get a touchdown, outrun everybody. Sure, it's not too common. Like, we saw that one play that he had against the 49ers where he was chased down, but... The main point is, he's a star running back, he's a mix of power and speed, and that's always a good combination, that was kind of what Gurley did too, um, but he brings all the right things, and he's also, we'll see how he does in the pass protection this year, because we lost Malcolm Brown, so it's going to put more on him to be a good run to pass, def <laughs> man, let me rephrase that, a running back who can do the pass defending, like with the pass rush coming at him, so we're going to see how he does with that, but honestly, all, all that being said, Akers has the traits, we have the passing game that's threatening now because we have Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Deshaun Jackson, and Van Jefferson who I'm very high on, and you never know who we could pick up on the draft. I'm not saying we're getting a wide receiver, but that's a strong wide receiver core. We may need to work on the offensive line, who knows, but either way, people gotta respect Stafford, and they gotta respect Akers. You gotta respect both, and I'll be honest, McVay loves to pass, so with our passing game being so dangerous and explosive as I think it's going to be, that's just going to set it up for Cam Akers. Cam Akers really came on the second half of the season. A lot of people 
say he was not as good as they expected, but I think that's unfair because the first half of the season he was kind of injured, and it was that it was that three running back approach that they were taking, so they, he wasn't really the starter. He really came on the second half of the season into the playoffs. We saw that against the Patriots, we saw it against the Seahawks, we saw it against many teams, even the 49ers late, he started getting some good rushes. And so now, McVay says he wants him to be that three down back. He wants him to be that workhorse, simple to Todd Gurley. I know another Todd Gurley comparison, but hey, I gotta fit it in there. Um, but yeah, he brings all that, and I just think this guy could have an amazing year. He's gonna have definitely over a thousand yards rushing. He's gonna break out, and then in turn, in doing so, our offense is gonna be even better because we have that winning game because of the threat in the pass. And then the vice versa. Like, it's just going to benefit our whole offense. And it could help project us to number one. So I want to know your thoughts down below. Again, thank you so very much for stopping into this Rams House channel. Please do make sure to click that subscribe button down below if you're a Rams fan. Because, again, diehard Rams fan. I'll stick with them through and through wherever they go and whatever they may encounter through. So please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. As always, horns up. God bless you guys are the best. Have a great day. Thank you.